Hey everyone, today we're going to work on the 13th problem in the introductory problem section on CSES. And that problem is called creating strings 1. So we're given a string and our task is to generate all the different strings that can be generated using or created using its characters. So we're giving a string n and each character is between a through z. So we're printing k, the number of strings, and then print k lines. Strings in alphabetical. Okay. Well. Um, we're going to, to solve this problem, actually, we're going to be using uh, something in C++ called next permutation. So if you haven't heard of it, you might want to look it up. But that simple function basically completely kills this, uh, this problem. So let's start coding. Uh, we have the directory all created, and now we're going to use go template, call it main, and there we go. Okay, so let's just get rid of uh, standard in and standard out. We have our input, so we're going to call it a string x, and then we get x. And then for next permutation to work, actually, uh, you need to sort x. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to sort x, which automatically puts it in order in n log n time. So, or close to n log n. And then we do while, or actually it's do. So we're going to actually need to create a vector of the strings to count how many there are. So let's do that. So we're going to have a vector of strings. And we're going to call that, um, I don't know, v. And then so while, um, so we're just going to, do do um b dot push x and then while it's permutation so this and then oh at the end we need to do four or So see out b dot size and the line, and then we need to what's our, oh we need to next permutation all of x, and then this needs to be pushed back, and then um, we need to uh, for for every string y and x, or call it v, just need to see out. So this next permutation completely killed the problem, but let's make sure our killing of the problem works out. Let's grab the input, let's paste it in, and we get all 20 permutations. So let's just make sure we didn't use any integers and let's submit so we grab the main.cb and we have an accepted answer so that's going to be it for the 13th problem in the uh, introductory problem set of CSES if you'd like to see more like the video subscribe and if you have a better solution comment down below I might make a video on it. See ya.